Hello friends, here is important questions for NET GRF examination from subject education that is code 9, paper 2. Uh, so, the first question is, in improving classroom teaching learning interactions, which of the following strategies is linked with the later adolescent stage of development? A. Activity based presentation B. Imitative acts in the classroom C. Mentoring with free exchange of ideas and D. Assigned reading and writing Okay, uh, so what do you think? At latter adolescent stage, what type of uh, thinking need to be encouraged? Okay, what type of uh, behavior should need to be encouraged? Okay, just think about it. Question number second. In Pavlovian um, conditioning paradigm as developed originally, which of the following was used as an independent variable? Okay. Uh, in Pav uh, Pavlov conditioning paradigm, A. Response magnitude, B. Response latency, C. Number of USCS pairing means uh, and D. Uh, presentation of CS alone. Okay, that means uh, conditional stimulus and unconditional mm, stimulus. And third question is, in Gagne's hierarchy of learning, which of the following learning types will form a part of behavioral aspect of learning? A. Concept learning. B. Problem solving learning. C. Rule learning. Or D. Signal learning. So, what is the correct answer? 1. C. 2, C and 3, D. 1. C. Mentoring with free exchange of ideas. In improving classroom teaching learning interaction. Okay. Mentoring with free exchange of ideas is very helpful for later also in stage of development. If you are giving activity based presentation or imitative acts in the classroom or assigning reading and writing, uh, there is limit... Uh, exchange of ideas between teachers and student or there is a concrete level of thinking okay what you are giving to your student they are just doing all those things but if you are mentoring with free exchange of ideas there is an encouragement of abstract thinking okay okay they are coming up with their own ideas so oh, this type of um, teaching while in the classroom help uh, at the latter also in stage of development okay in Pavlovian conditioning paradigm as developed originally which of the following was used as independent variable that is C number of US and CS pair okay in a Pavlovian uh, Pavlov response where the conditional stimulus and a CS is paired with the unconditional stimulus and that leads to the result of uh, conditional response so in that way we can say uh, we can say there is a, a number of us cs pairing as an independent variable okay that is as an independent variable and in third question that is in gagne hierarchy of learning which of the following learning type will form a part of behavioral aspect of learning so as we all know there are um, hierarchy in gagne's uh, learning um, there is eight um, in the hierarchy there is uh, eight level of learning right signal learning stimulus uh, response learning sr learning um, chaining verbal association discrimination and uh, uh, discriminate discrim discrimination learning concept learning rule learning problem solving there are eight uh, stages or level of learning okay so here is the signal learning and here is the problem solving learning okay so as we move from down to upward um, complexity has been increasing okay uh, and the four stage this four this four type of learning is behavioral learning and this four type of learning is cognition okay uh, like signal learning, SR learning, chaining, verbal association, these four comes under behavioral aspect of learning. So we can say that signal learning uh, form a part of behavioral aspect of learning. Okay, so that's all about 
today's uh, MCQ series and if you liked my video please share it and subscribe it for, and for more content relating to subject education. Thank you very much.